Right, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about uh, shops. <laughs> I forgot the intro then, that's really bad. Um, I'm just going to carry on, just going to leave it in. Um, I'm also going to take the hat off. Um, <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about the best shops, in my personal experience, for shopping different things. So I've broken it down into like different sections. So I've got two shops, or two-ish, two and a half shops, for like shoes and clothes, which are my main things. Then one that's good for everything, which a lot of people know if you've watched the videos before what I'm going to talk about. Then I'm going to be talking about two other things which are good for like furniture, like accessories and everything else in between. So I'm firstly going to start off with the ones which are like obvious in my personal opinion, which are Adidas and Reebok. Now they are owned, I think, by the same company. And the main reason for this is on most of their stuff, you can get 35% discount if you've got uni days so if you're a university student um if you've got like blue light cards so if you work in any of the health service or police or anything like that you can get it as well health service discounts you can get it on there as well um or if you don't have any of those things ask a family member that does to buy it for you for christmas 35 percent off they might get you a bit more than they usually would don't know um but adidas and reebok you can get amazing deals on there usually free shipping as well if you're a member with them Adidas and Reebok 35% off on full price items and I think even sometimes they do 25% off on sale items as well So that's where I get a lot of my clothing like base layers and stuff like that from Adidas Because you can usually get them extremely cheap just by doing that and it's really useful to do That's my main one which I do want to share with people because a lot of people think our oh, Adidas and Nike are both really expensive but with Nike, the discount codes that you can get are very bad compared to the ones that you can get on Adidas. When I was a kid, well, not when I was a kid, a few years ago, Adidas used to be a bit better with it. They used to be like, oh, you can have 35% off everything. Now, there's a lot of restrictions on what you can have deals on and what you can't. A lot of the shoes, well, a lot of the good shoes, in my opinion, are all excluded from these sort of promotional discounts. But in my opinion, Adidas and Reebok for shoes and clothing... Are the two best places which I would personally go if I was going to try and buy new stuff. Same thing with TK Maxx, or in America it's called, I think it's called TJ Maxx, which is a bit weird to me. I don't know why they changed it, and I don't even know why I'm explaining it, to be honest. Everyone knows what it is. Um, it's like a department store which obviously gets the like end of line stuff from like companies and stuff like that. So sometimes, the thing I will say with TK Maxx is sometimes they're, oh, I can't remember what it's called quality isn't as good it's not as good as like the actual one if you bought it directly from the brand which you're buying there a lot of times there can be a bit of like i don't know quality variance in stuff you're buying so i would say before you buy anything at tk maxx whether that be shoes or clothing or even accessories just look out for quality as much as you can because that is a thing which i found over the years at buying at tk maxx sometimes you can get amazing quality stuff that lasts for years and then other times you can get stuff at tk maxx where it's like this is not as good as i expected it to be or first thought when i saw it so it's kind of you get what you pay for a lot of times because you're getting a lot of money off at tk maxx some of the brands that they have there like ralph lauren diesel um they've got a lot of what's it called nike adidas under armor in the sports sections and stuff like that a load of jeans like levi's g star um diesel jeans as well they've got loads and loads of stuff big brands small brands like everything you need there it's great and different tk maxes will have loads of different stuff as well that's why to me it's kind of like a charity shop but just for profit which are they doing it's like loads of stuff which you have to look through and basically like treasure hunt so it's a good day out if you want to do that see that's my idea of a fun day out is going to tk maxx and like treasure hunting for good stuff sometimes you'll find absolutely nothing there like but other times you'll find some great stuff as well like i love getting a lot of my socks from there because i love the converse socks which they sell there so warm and so they last so long as well amazing quality from there i love tk maxx and it's one of the best places which i personally go to for just just have a look and see if there's anything worthwhile getting there uh and the next one is for everything and a lot of people who have seen the channel before will know i've spoken about it hundreds of times well maybe not hundreds a slight exaggeration there but charity shops you can get furniture there you get clothes there I actually did a video, if you want to go and watch that, it's on my channel. It's about all the different types of charity shops. Radio, radio, 
and then vinyl <laughs> and then like books as well you can get pretty much anything you could want from a charity shop like just there uh obviously it takes a lot more energy and time to do but it is truly worth it when you find something good because you're like oh i've just found this perfect thing that i've wanted for ages happened to me when i found my g-star jeans for about two pound fifty when they're usually about fifty pound great and I, I really enjoy the hunt it's a great thing and a great fun time to do now i'm not going to talk about charity shops too much because if like i said if you've seen any of my videos before i go on about it all the time anyway so if you like charity shopping subscribe to the channel like the video and literally you'll get charity shops pretty much like every single day there might be the odd occasion we're talking about something new but it's what i love to talk about on this channel so subscribe if you like that and now i'm going to be talking about two which are out of the realms which i usually do argos to me is amazing because there's an argos like right down the streets this is going to sound like really weird as well i used to buy pokemon cards all the time i loved pokemon cards as a kid actually as a young adult as well i love pokemon i love Yu Gi Oh as well literally pay for it and you can pick it up same day it's literally great like i love it i buy all my basketballs from there uh, Pokemon cards, um, gym equipment sometimes as well. If you need anything, it's always worth having a look on Argos because their prices are actually quite good and you can usually get it relatively quickly as well, which is another aspect which is quite important for me because when I see something and I want it, I don't really want to wait like five to six business days before I actually can get that. And the last one which uh, I put on here was Ikea for the food. I just go there just for the food. Now, I'm joking, but like furniture at ikea is great and a lot of times you can get better quality stuff than they sell at like department stores that's cheaper and better quality in my opinion like even this light right now that i'm using it came without the um light bulb but i got that stand and it's like i got it for about six pound from ikea on sale it's really good i think the one behind me as well the yellow light which i used to kind of light up the back of the room as well is also from ikea as well i think this table which i'm recording this video on is from ikea as well i've got a plant there that's from ikea that's fake from ikea it's amazing like i love ikea so much not only for the food but also for the furniture and accessories which you can buy there it's actually really good quality stuff and i would advise anyone if you're looking for furniture go to your ikea like there's always an ikea not too far away let's be honest like i'm from leicester and i travel to the one like in nottingham if there is still one in nottingham i don't even know i think there's one in coventry but there's always one somewhat close by and a lot of people hate it as a day out i love it as a day out i used to do design and stuff like that so i love furniture and everything about that if you want to hear more about furniture leave a comment and i definitely will uh, i love furniture and everything about it amazing and even buying furniture secondhand like we talked about this chair secondhand furniture from air ambulance amazing went in there today and there wasn't much there bought some weights from there for my little sister um but that's about all i've bought from a charity shop recently there hasn't been much good it's also a sunday so they're barely open i'm just rambling now as well uh i'm gonna leave the video there this was just kind of the best shops for deals which i've kind of found throughout my years of living like there's even another ikea thing there as well i love it um but these are the best shops which i found for deals different places where in my opinion you can find the best things for clothing accessories um furniture or anything in between really so this is the end of the video um i hope you guys enjoyed the video like the video and subscribe to the channel